I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies I pray for you now I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three I command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of God will come on people one two three I command those altars now be broken be broken be broken be broken I command those altars be broken be broken listen lift your hands I'm challenging altars of failure listen just I'm praying for you don't pray just listen to me because I'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything I stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now 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 by fire i judge those altars now This is Christian house channel there are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it you see a job they tell you it's yours quarter to reception everything changes I don't know who belongs to that category but in the name of Jesus inside and outside following online anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus I command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted i will tell you why i'm praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now than any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness I cause it by the God of heaven I cause it by the God of heaven Thank mm -hmm. you.
hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the lord is asking me to stretch my hands lord i pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of jesus as i'm praying now i command i'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all i see lord let it be right now i i break that marriage i break that spiritual marriage i break that spiritual marriage my god my god my god my god i break that spiritual marriage there's one of them you should have married but this is what stops everybody that comes around you i command it broken right now i command it broken right now i command it broken right now I command it broken right now. Hallelujah. A time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening wherever that person is right now in Jesus name I stretch my hands there is no escape in the name of Jesus whether inside or outside you are in this category now I command judgment judgment on any strange spirit judgment on any stranger judgment on any stranger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know but we're rounding up please just this just is christian house me. channel i'm hearing in my spirit yoruba people yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that god is bringing now to yoruba people you know how god acts as i'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory i place the word of god now in the name of jesus let that sword of deliverance i command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance i command it now inside and outside in the name of jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I say it again I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now
anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and i decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist mary to get pregnant he showed up and said i was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant i declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus let me pray finally for your finances i believe in god's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working i want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor god's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job i'm talking of a system in the spirit where god will lift you in a way that will make you afraid i decree and declare now as i'm praying for you i'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency i pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now in the name of jesus christ listen listen i've shared with you my encounter i've seen that spirit that they call mammon i've seen it i've shared it here some years ago when i was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden i saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a poor there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny help us in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus the bible says to pray with thanksgiving tell him thank you thank you this is part of a fruitful prayer you don't round up a prayer with amen you round up a prayer with genuine thanksgiving lord i thank you i know it is done i receive it because you are faithful this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us it's our confidence hallelujah now keep your hands please look at me i want to encourage everyone as much as god grants you grace i want you to use this week make sure that no day passes without you 
creating time to blast in tongues at least an hour at least an hour no if you think you don't have the strength find somebody who god has graced at least an hour tuesdays you are sure you can come and our prayer department is there praying you don't have to be a part of the, the a member of the prayer department join them because it's a season where we are breaking things through breaking things through in the realm of the spirit every day take out time i would recommend night times for you because most people are working or as students you may not have the luxury of time to get up in the morning or afternoon but you can maximize night times one hour out of 24 at least will not kill you i want you to cultivate that atmosphere carry that consciousness that the, my prayer is creating an altar and that i am an altar myself and refuse to allow the devil play games with your destiny Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.